yeah, I can fucking my my headphone jack sucks ass, so it's like it'll work about twenty percent of the time, and I'm like, that's not enough. <laughs> that's no, no. <laughs> It's not even close. So I assume I you're because it pisses me off every time I use your computer. Yeah, let me just learn how to solder real quick. I think it's easy. Probably not small shit though. I have soldered with... before. I don't know. Um, I just hit him up again. I assume since the last night was the first night he's been drinking in a while, he's not. <laughs> he's I think dead. he was pretty lit. His texts were drunk. <laughs> nice. Um, what the hell was the other thing I was going to say? Oh, yeah, so we might be getting joined by Tyler Sengen today if he graces us with his presence. But as well, a... over. We don't know, folks. That's, that's <laughs> the kind of drama you can expect on our show. <laughs> Will Tyler Sengen to join? Will he stop talking like this? Find out next week on <laughs> No, He Won't Stop Talking Like That and Tyler Never Shows Up. <laughs> All right, that's it, guys. Bye. <laughs> this kind of gave away the no. bonus there. <laughs> it's just bits. That's this show. That was the intro. I think I'm going to stick with that. <laughs> <laughs> I like the uh, including media sessions that you have this week because they're always awful. <laughs> and I do hate them. <laughs> I'm Kellen. That's Connor. Normally, this is an audio medium, but I'm not at Connor's house, so... I'm working. We're doing Zoom. Are you at work right now? Uh, I'm about halfway through an edit. <laughs> oh, the uh, the fucking thing. Yeah, I got time to finish it up. Oh, God. I'm, I'm just out of arm's reach of my dog, and this is a fate worse than death. <laughs> oh, God damn it. You can do whatever crime she pleases. No, she demands to go outside. That is the crime she pleases. Well, she also, she can do that on her own. She does know how to open the door wants to make you do it only for screen doors she has limitations abilities. <laughs> what? That's raccoon. no it's a possum it's eat trash and get hit by a car I hope it does get hit by a car because <laughs> possums aren't raccoons this is against our religion this is a raccoon based podcast no this is like kind of like the uh, the fuck the devil shirt you know where it's like, you, you, in school, you used to be able to wear a shirt that would be like, AIDS is gay or something like Or Well, not that one. But <laughs> <laughs> no, in my school, you could say, fuck cancer. You could wear that on your shirt. So a bunch of kids were like, that's awesome. Fuck cancer. And then the <laughs> teachers would be like, exactly. Because if the teachers didn't let you do it, you'd be like, what, do you like cancer? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can't do that with AIDS is gay. That's <laughs> That sends a very different message. What, Mrs. Miller, do you not think AIDS is gay? Uh, yeah, I back. Bitch. <laughs> bitch. <laughs> you bitch. No, That's but... She's an economics teacher. <laughs> she teaches <And> Reaganomics. <laughs> I, yeah, so this That's is my it. AIDS yeah. is gay shirt. <laughs> You, is there Are there AIDS is gay shirts? I'm sure there's AIDS is gay shirts. I would say we should make it, but it will be misconstrued far too often. I cannot <laughs> do conscience, dude. I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Move closer to your router, dude. You're, you're, you're choppy. I I, I'm out there all day with work, and I don't have anywhere to put this out there. You don't have to. Nobody's forcing it. I don't want to be choppy. <laughs> you just want to be choppo, you... Chapo blowing faggot. I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm trying my best here. <laughs> really? That's that's sad. Yeah. I, I mean, it I, you're, not... I'm the gay one, but you listen to a show called Come Town a lot. Touche. I'm not happy about that. I'm ashamed of that fact about myself, but here we are. Um, That'll do. That'll do, pig. That'll do. That's actually a really good angle, dude. You're, you're, you're set up over here. That looks good as hell. Yeah, I've got, well, now I've got natural light. Oh, okay. A little less of that. <laughs> and, and this. And this. <laughs> yeah. I really love your bell bottom in the middle of the screen. <laughs> it does look like a bell bottom, sort of. Keep doing visual bits. We got to stop it. <laughs> well, apparently this will be visual, but yeah, not most of them. Yeah. Uh, how's your one? Me, I will face God and walk backwards into hell. <laughs> this, this, it being a yeah. visual medium. 
No, it's, uh, you, don't you know that drill tweet? If the zoo bans me for hollering at the animals, I will face God and walk backwards into hell. <laughs> that's amazing. That's, a, that's the right way to do it. God, kind of a dick, if we're being honest here. He's mean. He's very mean. Be he mean. did all this. Now, let me <laughs> ask you some folks, do you like all this? <laughs> Probably not most of it. The devil's like a, so like God is like an S tier, is like an S tier, um, God, a fucking, he, not hero or villain, I don't want to use those words. It's like an S tier character, and then the villain is like C tier at best, and the God, and God's always like, look at what he's doing, isn't that fucked up? And it's like, dude, you destroyed a planet yesterday for no reason. You just were in, like, if something happened, like you fell and destroyed a planet. And he's like, well, yeah, I just have that power. I'm like, no, th he can do like four things. <laughs> I mean, Seriously. in the Bible, in the Bible, God kills way more people than the devil. I feel like I'm 16 again. God kills yeah. way more people than the devil. And the only people the devil gil kills are in a bet with God. So. <laughs> and also, like, the God, God's able to just make a flood happen. But the devil's like, he can. The devil's got to like talk to you. <laughs> He's gonna make bargains and do fiddle competitions if you want the soul. The de yeah, God could just be like, "That's my soul. Congratulations." <laughs> but the right, devil's yeah, just like, and the devil's got to like be at crossroads and finding Motown singers. Like, mm -hmm. I'll give you a fiddle made of you know cherub wings or whatever. The devil is driving a Toyota Supra. And God is in a Formula One racing car. <laughs> and they're racing. And there is a woman who lives on all of our blocks that wants you to be really worried about that Toyota Super going too fast. <laughs> because it's playing loud music and he's smoking weed. Because he's like, well, I'm going to lose. Fuck it. God is fucking drag racing down suburban streets, just obliterating children <laughs> with bone cancer. It's like giving them bone cancer, not with a car. And the devil drives by in a shit box. Blasting Eminem from 2005. <laughs> Some white lady in a house that's too big is like, I don't like the weed. The Toyota Super is the problem here, for sure. <laughs> no, fuck it. If they rewrite the Bible, which they should, they should really switch the roles of the two. Where it's God, like downplay God, make him the underdog, and be like, no, there's I can't do anything. <laughs> like the devil's got all this power to make floods and shit. Just make the devil the good guy. Also, either or. I mean, essentially, you're doing the same thing. I guess. The devil should be an anti-hero, though. So he's sexy and cool. <laughs> and he would have, like, five o'clock shadow and a suit. <laughs> but the thing, he doesn't have a tie and the top button's not buttoned. <laughs> oh. But he's got, he's like... like cigarettes all the time, but he never smells like tobacco. And then it seems like a really normal suit, and then at some point he opens up the suit, and you see it's got the red inlining that you can't really see, and you're like, ah, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> little flames and shit, a Toyota Supra. <laughs> the devil is like a mob boss at the apex of his power before he has his inevitable fall. Yeah. <laughs> like Harry Hill before the cocaine. Well, in the middle of the cocaine. There was a lot of cocaine. God, I love cocaine. Yeah. yeah. Relax. <laughs> I feel like cocaine is just, it's overkill at this point. It's so easy to get other uppers. I'm just an anxious wreck. <laughs> I don't also need to wake up. Yeah, my heart rate's already very high. I need benzo for cocaine. Or heroin. Yeah. This is, uh, this I just got a vamp. So I, can get I don't know. Pot, it, is, uh, it, it should be illegal because the devil doesn't. Uh, that's what I call the devil's lettuce. So which I feel like sounds like a term for pubes, you know? Just, um, it's weird that heroin's called horse. Like, they just both start with an H, I guess, is why I they did that. Know. It's funny that cocaine is called yeah. Coke, because, like, Coke is short for yeah, cocaine. Just well, well, yeah. but Coke, as Diet Coke, comes from Coca-Cola, which I'm pretty I, sure they named after that, because they put cocaine in it, but now they just put caffeine in it. And by the way, every morning, we'll most figure it out after this. you drink a bunch of caffeine. That's a drug. You're addicted to a drug. So when I pass out at your daughter's bar mitzvah with a needle in my arm, I'm no worse than you every Monday morning. <laughs> I like that I just tuned in at the end of this. I'm going to have to listen to it later. Excellent vamp work. Yeah, no, Very, well like... done. <laughs> Very well done. How are you enjoying your only day off? I keep thinking of it as my only day off, which makes it very <laughs> far difficult. Worse. Far, far worse. Oh, God. Oh, God. 
day. It makes I'm sense. enjoying my living room being a living room instead of the office. Buy a 100-foot Ethernet cable. It's $16. I have one. I've had one since college. I had one in college. Then just use it. I'm not going to string an Ethernet cable throughout my apartment. Just unplug it when you don't need it. That's what I'm going to do. I still don't want to string it. <laughs> I, I don't think it was. He has to go around and <laughs> open the fridge. No, you're, put <laughs> you're, you're putting your roommate in a mousetrap situation, you know? <laughs> no, or I'm like, I'm in the middle of cutting a highlight in the game. Store, so I go, my, my roommate needs a beard, dude. Sorry, I'll get to it when he's <laughs> No, I, I expect you not to tell your roommate. He opens the door, trips over it, pulls your computer 10 feet off your desk, pulls the router right out of the wall. Absolute worst case scenario. And as it falls, it clatters and hits the keys and creates the perfect, absolute perfect montage. <laughs> and then we're done. That's right. <laughs> that computer ain't good for counting or nothing, but if you drop it on the floor, it can count all the toothpicks. <laughs> <laughs> That is what? <laughs> it's a complicated situation. I understand. <laughs> that is like Rain Man <laughs> mutation. It was a, it was a lot of things. <laughs> we'll be honest. <laughs> yeah, if you put this computer on a poker table, it'll win every time. Well, yeah, it's yeah, a but <laughs> it's a no, little... but like it can't talk. <laughs> yeah, computers can't talk. <laughs> but like, it's really good at computing. It's a computer. <laughs> So wait, would it would an AI with autism be like a colorful personality? <laughs> and all the computers, <laughs> all the computers make fun of it, and beat it up. <laughs> and it's constantly watching anime for the plot, and not because that's real boobs. Oh god, it's just like a good guy, but it's not very smart. <laughs> kind of guy. It's a bug. It's got a wife and two kids. <laughs> two adopted kids, of course. And the wife and course. the kids are smarter than it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, somewhere yeah, a comparable level. <laughs> it's just like <laughs> he's just Phil at the office, you know. <laughs> he's just Phil. What are you worried about? It's Phil. <laughs> it's Phil. It's all right. You know, I what's a fun he... gag to do with your friends is take two or three toothpicks and drop them on a table and go, "How many toothpicks are those?" And if they say it right, go, "Oh my God, you have autism." <laughs> I couldn't have counted all those two things. <laughs> what you gotta do is really convince him. It's like it's three <laughs> toothpicks, dude. Yeah, dude, you're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> See if you can gaslight them into thinking it's weird they can count three toothpicks. <laughs> <laughs> I can do two just because I'm like, okay, there's one and another one and not anymore. <laughs> I but think that that's two. But once there's another one, I don't know if it's three or four. Also, I feel like the ability to count all those toothpicks isn't so much a se like his brain as it is his amazing eyesight, really. The, he must have, yeah, he's got like 4K eyeballs. Or <laughs> he could like really pick out the definition of it. Because if you put a pile of toothpicks, my problem isn't that I can't count them. My problem is that I can't see all of them or assume where they are. Zebras rely on this concept to not be eaten by lions. <laughs> And you expect me to be better at hunting toothpicks than a lion? Yeah. I don't think so, Jack. So, so he's essentially a lion. <laughs> that autistic A man with a the lion. brain yeah. of a lion. <laughs> <laughs> a man with the brain of a lion and the heart of a man with arrhythmia. <laughs> he's skittish. <laughs> <laughs> If he doesn't win poker, he'll bite the jugular of the guy who's stealing the cards. You know your older aunt's cat that doesn't like people? He's like, that. <laughs> <laughs> if he loses a hand of touch he will hide under a couch with lactic acid. He's 17 years old and 40 pounds. It's a lot <laughs> for a cat. <laughs> He is the size of a large raccoon and also has the temperament of a large raccoon. <laughs> he is our Except god. Not digest garbage. You can only dis digest pate. Not pate <laughs> cat food. Pate for humans. That <laughs> yeah. cat food in the fridge is for your elderly aunt. <laughs> She's not confused. She really likes that cat. <laughs> In a world where cats are autistic <laughs> <laughs> and autistic people are cats. Just like, 
dude on yeah. top of a Are you bridge. brave enough to do an autistic meow right now? <laughs> I, I wouldn't know how. They're all, I mean, they're no, all. It's, no, well, it's, it's actually um the way that, that we react to <laughs> that. Let me explain this to you. No, I know you were talking about something else. The way, it's not a meow, it's actually a mow, you know? And that's why, did you know that the first uh, breed of cat was called the Egyptian mow? Probably. And that's an autistic cat. meow. Right there, you just did it. <laughs> <laughs> An autistic hiss is just a hiss. <laughs> I do that. You know, what that weird girl did in, in middle school, it's that. <laughs> I still do it. You like that, right? Oh, yeah. Everybody had that girl. <laughs> <laughs> we all, and she wore fox ears sometimes, and then a fox tail that you don't quite know where it started, but you don't want to know where it starts. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> they have butt plug foxtails, that's what I'm trying to say. But my audio is off, so I can't hear a word you fucking say. <laughs> this, oh, it's... I, I, okay, I don't know what to say. I, I don't want to know. <laughs> I assume none of that was flattering. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Am I Verizon or Sprint? <laughs> now, our hissing girl, when I was in middle school, she liked to throw tampons and menstrual pads at men, <laughs> hoping that they would be freaked out, and but they would always just be like, why did you throw something at me? <laughs> they wouldn't notice. Be like, oh, it's a tampon. Aren't you scared? And they'd be like, no, I wish it wasn't like on my sandwich now because you threw it at me. But <laughs> I mean, going to eat the sandwich, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's in a wrapper. Like, that, is, that is one of the girls that you put in a, all of Harvard. <laughs> the emotionally disturbed classes. <laughs> I think she was. Where it's like she, she, she could put two and two together, but... It's not all there. That's, that's it, though. She couldn't no, 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 no. Four, four. Her mental faculties are all there. It's her social. I don't know. I haven't seen her since middle school. I don't know if she got to high school. You should call her. She might be a lesbian who still likes penis now. Why do you think weird. I would have her phone number? <laughs> you should Facebook I don't call her. I don't that know. book that they gave out in middle school with all the phone numbers. They gave that out? Yeah, I mean, it was like your parents' house, not your cell number. <laughs> I was going to say, if a pedophile gets his hands on it, it's game over. Well, yeah, it was 2006. <laughs> we didn't all have cell phones, and we couldn't send pictures. I had, a, I had a cell phone in middle school. Did I? Well, I, yeah, I guess I did. Yeah, I think it was towards the end of middle school. But, I mean, that's just like, a, feels like a security hazard to hand out a book of everybody in your middle school's phone number. They won't, they wouldn't do that today. <laughs> No, they probably wouldn't do that today. But what I mean, the what do you do with a phone number? Yeah, what do you need oh, to get a hold of somebody for? It's like, hey, you're in my what, math class. For the group project, Connor, for the group project. In middle school? The middle school group project. Do it alone. You'll be fine. Yeah, I did. Everyone. I, did. <laughs> I also did. I was also that kid. And then high school came around, and I was like, wait a second. Just have smart friends. They'll do it. <laughs> and then I did. And I always did it in high school, and I still do it now. <laughs> uh, group projects at work. Da, 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 da. It, it is. Did you know work is just school? High schoolers <laughs> and college students watching this. Did you know work is just school? <laughs> not if you get a good job. But we did. Your professor is not as shitty, but it's still school, and all of the other kids in your group aren't gonna do the fucking project. I don't know. Unless you're chill, I guess. Then someone else will do it for you. Then maybe you hey. work with us. Hey. Hey. My heart rate has not been defined as resting in seven years. Uh, that's good. I can, like, I'm just talking to you as compared to the Thursday podcast, I can tell you're, like, significantly more relaxed. Just because oh, you're... Yeah. No, I, I thought of nothing but work and ways to get out of it for five years. <laughs> Dude, don't get a heart rate monitor because it'll tell you where your heart rate is all the time and you'll look at it and be like, I have to go to the hospital. That's a high number. And then that'll, of course, raise my heart rate <laughs> and eventually it'll just start sending ambulances. <laughs> That's a good and It'll be like Harry Potter when all the owls are outside the house trying to put the letters in <laughs> and won't let them in. It'll just be a bunch of confused paramedics banging on the roof. <laughs> They're like, I think he's, it's, he's like a pong game in there between hole and wall trying to run <laughs> off. <laughs> like trying to get a mouse out from under a table. 
<laughs> be dead. I'm looking at heart rate. <laughs> it's like trying to get that fat autistic cat out from under the couch. <laughs> Come here, kitty. <laughs> Wait, was the cat on? I think the on, I think the guy that was good at poker. I, it, Rain Man is a, was. No, no, I got. I, I know. I both. Uh, I bit it. No, oh, now I forgot. I thought I knew. <laughs> oh, no. Rain Man. Rain Man and that cat switched bodies. So Rain Man is in that cat, and that cat oh, is in Rain so, Man. <laughs> so Dustin Hoffman is like walking around meowing and licking his balls. And there's a cat. Uh, 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 uh. No, 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 Just the social aspects of them switch. So nothing. it's almost imperceptible to the naked right. eye. <laughs> so Rain Man is just more skittish, and there's a cat that'll be like, there's 72 pieces of cat. <laughs> But he'll say it. No one to tell that about. <laughs> yeah, he'll say it in cap, so he'll be even more tortured by his genius brain. Yeah. So the old lady that owns him will just be like, he's meowing while he eats his food. That's, <laughs> the old lady's done, that. Is that what? So Chiba tries to bury her food with her nose. Is that what? Is she like counting it or something? <laughs> no, she's trying to tell you something about it. <laughs> that it tastes like dick. I bet she's like, this is awful. <laughs> Give me. It really real. does suck. I feel like pets should be fed raw meat. I give her raw chicken, but she, she all, it's like eating her vegetables, so she has to eat the dry food. Otherwise, like, her teeth don't get hard. She won't get all the proper nutrition. You can't just eat chicken and live. So we give her chicken and that. And it's, mm. it's five bucks a week. Don't you remember college and Popeyes? Yes, you can. <laughs> 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 no, that's why your heart rate jumps so quickly. <laughs> because it's either... It's either it's blood or the gravy. Out of my head. <laughs> exactly. It's fun fact. Uh, actually, you might be just in too good of shape, and allow me to present to you my thesis. Exactly. <laughs> because... No, I accept it. I accept it already. <laughs> because... <laughs> I don't even I need any evidence. I, oh. <laughs> I think you're correct. <laughs> because um, uh, weight uh, Olympic powerlifters when they did when they did. Uh, lifts in it like for giant like they lift two thousand pounds or whatever the fuck in a deadlift they used to have heart rate monitors on their chest so they could catch their heart rate they stopped doing that after the first time they did it because their heart rate goes so fucking high when they're doing it it's like 210 beats per minute and it's like medical experts look at it and they're like that guy should be dead like this fucking second <laughs> and so they did it and then the guy just like that's the big barrel of pickles drop and screams <laughs> yeah. Well, no, it's just like that's the average heart rate when you're lifting 2,000 pounds is 210 <laughs> beats per minute. So it's like it just freaked people out too much. So they're like, yeah, we're not doing heart rate monitors in, in Olympic lifts anymore. So you're saying that the weight of my anxiety could <laughs> bend a barbell. Exactly. So, no, I'm saying what you have to start doing is every time you get anxious, lift something heavy. And then just be like, well, that's why my heart rate's so high. I just lived in a fridge. <laughs> yeah, when my boss is like, why are you shaking? Just do it. I'll be like, well, look at my other hand. <laughs> Jug of water? <laughs> I'm holding an entire... Uh, uh, Kellen, if every time you get anxious, you lift, you squat 225 every time you get anxious at work, you're going to be... Jack. I have legs like a kangaroo. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I'll have to do an Australian accent constantly. Kangaroo Jack, folks? Kangaroo Jack. <laughs> the guy from Stand By Me? Anthony Anderson? Christopher Walken? Oh, I wanted to do more. I, I Stand By Me, I Walk would love. Kangaroo Jack? <laughs> I would love to talk about Kangaroo Jack. <laughs> if Jack Black wasn't in it, it was a travesty. Uh. <laughs> you don't know who's in Kangaroo Jack? You don't know Kangaroo Jack? Uh, no, I don't. I think I've seen it once. It's been the movie a about a guy who gets in trouble with his mob boss stepfather, so he has to deliver money to someone in Australia, but he accidentally puts the money in the pocket of a jacket that he puts on a kangaroo, and then the kangaroo hops away, and he has to chase down I the kangaroo. Have, the I've <laughs> seen it once. <laughs> You've got to see it more. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen so much green in one little brown packet. Oh, it's such a good movie. <laughs> I, I I got nothing, but I wanted to do more references of flowers for Algernon when we were on the uh, the trip for for uh, fucking Rain yeah. Man. 
when we were doing Rain Man, I was trying to oh, transition oh, yeah. into it with flowers where else should but I couldn't. I mainly know that through the Always Sunny episode where Charlie gets, well, not actually smart, but like pretends to. <laughs> it's, yeah, I remember the end of that episode. It was great. It was just like, yeah, all that math is just wrong. Okay. <laughs> 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 Police Academy, which is a funny move. <laughs> Get fucked, science bitch. <laughs> I, That's right. I want to say that to the engineering department every time <laughs> they're like the reason this didn't work is because you t misspelled the file path uh, you like get I bet you. <laughs> it's such a it's literally like we've taken on a job of coding as well now so now I just have to be like okay <laughs> well on top of my job as an editor now I have to learn how to code computers so they work and then edit on them and I'm like why don't I just build the fucking desktop while I edit <laughs> The, de the other departments have other shit to deal with, and that's why this is happening. But it's interesting that all the departments we deal with, now there's something they can't do and we have to do. That's right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Shitty. <laughs> I did, the other day, I had to, I had picked something from like a, the, no one, I'll tell you later, no one on a podcast cares about that. <laughs> I, figured out that I would have to be like, I would have to be like, well, it was a list of selects, and these are what selects are, so I had to go to the melt, and what a melt is. So, <laughs> I love it when people... Like I was trying to explain to Tyler last night. I, was, I can't remember what I told him. I was, I was like, I said, and you didn't hear it, but I was like, Connor, make sure there's no flash frames. He's like, what's a flash frame? And I talked for about two minutes, and I was like, that didn't make sense. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want to hear something? That if Tyler, you know, uh, uh, if Tyler said that 1914, or 1914, the movie, he was going around saying it was all done in one take, and it was not... <laughs> no, see, for, when we, as we tell the story, it's Tyler kept saying it was done in one take and it's not. The way Tyler tells that story is, I kept saying it looked like it was only in one take, which is what I meant, and then all my asshole videographers said, like, it wasn't actually done. <laughs> no, because one feat is far more impressive. If you, yes, could, exactly. if you could do 1914 in one take, then be... One of them is just like some decent editing and planning ahead. It's like it's like seventeen cuts. That's still impressive. That's very yeah. impressive, but not to normal people. <laughs> I've seen movies that have been done in one take. Every one of them is awful. There's not a good one. <laughs> the you cut. There's so you know, many reasons. You know to what cut. you have to do in one take? A play. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it yeah. was. I, I've seen, I've seen, uh, I've seen a few just absolute garbage movies in one take, and the whole gimmick is, look, we did it in one take, and I'm like, yeah, I see gigantic portions you should have cut, and I know you didn't because you were setting up like a banquet area in the background trying to be impressive. I'm like, just don't, just do it over a span of an hour, or whatever. Just do a, no, just do a play and get four <laughs> or five cameras on the play and have those cut. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. If you're not there to turn your head at a play, you need an editor. And you get the benefit of an audience that way. Fucking idiots. Everybody's I mean, dumb. Like, we're going to a movie in only one take. That's only cool to describe, not to see. <laughs> exactly. What it should happen every time is we did a movie in one take. It was bad. So we're going to go to a play. Record <laughs> that. <laughs> I made a movie in one take, and it was a movie about a guy watching a play from that guy's perspective. So I just bought a ticket and I put a camera there. <laughs> an art project. And that's still a bad movie. It needs cuts and camera <laughs> and angle changes and motion. No, it's it's artistic. Is why it's weird. It's substantistic. Hold on. <laughs> Fantastic. Ah, I knew damn. I'd get there. <laughs> ah, they got me. <laughs> doctor. Nice well, doctor. I'm doctor. Well, nice doctor. you own the podcast now. You won. <laughs> now it's a Doctor Who and Dune podcast. I will kill myself. I've never seen Doctor Who, and I never plan on it. It's so much better than Stargate. Fuck I, you. They're pretty much the same show. They're very Fuck similar. Fuck you. Stargate's amazing. <laughs> the Doctor's very optimistic, though. So Stargate. Well, is he? It's more like military. Just yeah, Stargate's more military. I would like to see a Doctor Who Stargate crossover. That'd be cool. Although I, like I don't to, care about the new Doctors. I, I would like to see him fuck. Matt Tennant. Matt Tennant? Matt Smith. David Tennant. Jesus Christ. 
<laughs> I don't know or care. You could have been, those could all be nobody, no people. And I wouldn't How know. did you not watch Doctor Who? You were, you were the kid that used to do the group projects for everybody. You were sad in high school. I stopped in middle school and I hadn't made my way through Stargate yet, so I wasn't looking for a new series. Well, start Doctor Who. <laughs> Never, dude. It's like no, 400 it's seasons. Is everybody loves the quirky Matt Tennant Doctor who wears a suit with Converse, but the actual cool one is the old weird nosed one who's like 50 and from like rural England. He's the cool one. How do they explain that you can't, like, that doctors are always different? I know they explained that away. He re he, doctors regenerate. They have 13 lives. So when they die, they regenerate into a new look. Okay, like a new so they have 13 lives? Yes, so except that when the Matt Smith doctor died, that was supposed to be his last regeneration. But because he saved the Time Lords, which is his race somehow, they gave him 13 more. So the show can go forever. I don't like that at all. I really don't. <laughs> There was a cool sequence when he, when the Matt Smith one died, which is like the last one I ever watched, when like every doctor showed up. Because they traveled through time. So Weren't some of them dead? Well, yeah, they used old footage. Ah. Yeah. I think most of them are dead. <laughs> How long has this show been on for? Well, it was on like in the 50s. And so then it took a break after the ninth one. And then it came back with the tenth one. So some I think of the that was in the nineties, and then in like two thousand five, it came back. So some of the doctors were alive at the same time that Hitler was. Suspicious. It is weird that Hitler that he didn't stop the Nazis. He's <laughs> really stopping genocides of the planet, but then like doesn't change history. But I mean, if it's fucking with time anyway, yeah, a lot of a lot of plot holes. Don't think I'm gonna watch it. Fuck that and shit. by the way, they do do episodes about time loops. The episode Blink is about like a time loop where he did something in. His future self did something in the past that changed it for future people. It's confusing because time isn't a line. It's a big ball of wibbly-wobbly, timey-wimey stuff. I, I know that reference. Of, and I, that, I think. I don't. We're not doing this show for Tyler. We're doing this show for Joey, and you know it. <laughs> I don't think, I don't think, Joey. Sorry, Joey. I don't know if you know about Dr. Who. I, <laughs> don't. I don't know. He knows about Popeyes. Let's do more Popeyes bits. <laughs> uh, when you order Popeyes on DoorDash, you can't get mac and cheese. And I do not want Popeyes if I can't have my mac and cheese. Why can't you get mac and cheese? That's fucked up. Say it right. No. <laughs> I'm a fucking adult. It's mac and cheese. I'll eat yeah, mac and cheese. Uh, I'm, mac and cheese, chalky milk. I'm doing it. It's not spotted cow. It's I um, want, Dude, I haven't eaten anything today. And I'm going to throw up if you keep saying these things. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Don't you want some creamy mac and cheese? <laughs> oh my god, that's so fucking gross. Oh god, what a well, what a, a whole ass adult <laughs> who is not a gamer girl. Like, I don't know. Maybe I want some mac and cheese. <laughs> Just going to Popeyes and being that guy. <laughs> What's the? How do you say UWU -U in fucking? <laughs> no, but how do you like say it to a person in the sexual way that it would be? Oh, uh, ooh woo. No, this is all wrong. I have been to dark places of the. Oh, I don't like any of this. All of this hurts my body. By like... the way, this is the best that anyone who says that looks. <laughs> it's worse from here. No, there are gamer girls who are stone cold foxes that are just like. Yeah, but they them. don't. They they do it to get people who look worse than me to be like, oh, it's sexy. Here's five dollars. Like you know how I looked last time with the Thanos chin? It's guys that look like that with good framing, and they're just like, I I love women who resemble cats. I mean, who doesn't? But. <laughs> yeah, that girl in high school. That's the girl they fell in love with. No. No, they think it's going to be like... A norm they think it's going to be like Kylie, the cat ears. No, it's never that. Kylie, hold Chiba up so she's in the podcast. Oh, no, she's sleeping. She was sleeping. Put Chiba behind your head so her ears look like your ears. Dude, there was, a, there was a minute there where I just... I moved the thing... To the, uh, I moved my desk chair to the side and Chiba was sitting like right right here on the couch and it looked like you were doing a podcast with Chiba and I'm like, excellent. 
This well, get, get, put the dog on the couch and get out of frame. <laughs> and later, <laughs> put on Shiba like Robot Chicken. I know. I've never seen Robot Chicken. I'm kidding. <laughs> it's just not toast. <laughs> well, everyone's seen, even if you weren't into Robot Chicken, people know about you know Robot that. Chicken. I could quote Robot Chicken too much, and we gotta just stop doing other people's bits, <laughs> which is what we should name the podcast: is other people's bits. It's just other people's bits. <laughs> it's just other people's bits. Amazing. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's just this riffs. Is something that like people should be mean to us on Twitter about once we're big. Good, do it. I would love it for people to be mean to me on Twitter. Nobody's DM'd me for a pin or a sticker yet, but I mean they did initially, and now they're like, I already did it. And I'm like, I want you to, okay. <laughs> I still have to get one of my dad. And Joey. And Joey. But right. I, like, I haven't seen Joey in person. Oh, the name of this podcast is This One's for Joey. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> this episode? <laughs> Hell yeah. No, 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 no. No, because that sounds like our high school friend died very young of leukemia. In memoriam of Joey. Let's <laughs> go. Come no, I'm not doing without a pod, without a, without a podcast. Without a panel, but it's a podcast. <laughs> Ooh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> you know without a paddle, right? Yeah, it's great. And we're in this tree, and these hippie chicks are trying to bang us. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, if we do without a podcast, hippie chicks will bang us. But since we are uh, internet boys with a podcast instead of uh, Matthew Lillard, they will have cat ears. Mm. Oh, I <laughs> we got to go back to the Popeye's worker who's just getting assaulted by a guy, <laughs> but only verbally and in such a weird way that there's no way he could report it. No, I watch a lot of TikToks. <laughs> well, hey, mister, could I have the uh, mac and cheese? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know what's happening. I don't like it. I, I can uh, sell it. No, you, no, you, you can't. Nope. <laughs> I don't know. Do you think I need to tell you, uh, just like a 35 year old manager, <laughs> 18 hours into his shift, making $12 an hour, <laughs> just so, so some guy can sexually assault him through, uh, through TikTok. <laughs> just, uh, I have seen a bunch of TikToks. Well, I saw them a while ago. There was a trend of them where people would talk about being in little space and having someone else order for them at restaurants. Do you know what that means, Connor? No. Ooh. Oh. I don't like this. <laughs> so, they, there's there's all sorts of types of relationships, Connor. I'm sure you know that. We're a wonderful rainbow of sexuality. <laughs> I don't and, like this. <laughs> some, some, of them, some of them, they don't just do the daddy thing during sex. Sometimes they're like, I'm in a space where I feel like I'm, they say little, but what they mean is too young to fuck. You know that Dead Kennedy song? So they'll be like, I'll be at a restaurant in that space, in my gym. <laughs> Someone else ordered my food, and the people there were looking at me weird. So, <laughs> No shit. I wonder why. It's all right. That was before the TikTok algorithm figured me out. Now it's just girls doing anime dances. Dude, I, I, I oh had boy. a TikTok for a minute. I was scrolling through TikTok. I saw one hot chick that I couldn't tell her age, and I deleted TikTok. I'm like, nah. <laughs> Is that for me, that's, man? That's why you have to follow specific accounts. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Not why, for are me. you trying to fuck them? I ain't playing that game. No, I, you, 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 really let, you really You can't hear anything that's going on, and you're going to jump in on this one? Okay, <laughs> sounds good. You just got to find the right ones. There's the dog. She's there for me. I know, but I'm poker. Chiba's <laughs> <laughs> uh, blurred out. not touching you, but he's touching you. Chiba's in witness protection agency. You gotta blow her eyes out so you can't see her. Uh, uh. Oh, she's the dog in We're the Millers now. <laughs> ah, ah, censored. <laughs> no, oh, no, no, no. We attracted all the wrong kind of people with the cat girl talk. Don't <laughs> I don't want him to molest my dog through the internet. Just going up to my dog like this. I, I, it feels wrong just to do this. Just, this. Yeah, you're not shy. This is how I say docking. This is how I say docking in sign language. <laughs> A manly thing. Yes, I do. A manly thing like docking. <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess it'd be more like a spin cycle situation. <laughs> I mean, what's more manly than a dick fucking a dick? Well, no, I assume it'd be like the sun 
and Mercury kind of situation. Whoa, dude. I'm so fucking glad that was F U N. I didn't think it was. Hey, why? Why? She just does that. <laughs> It's like a car that's like the AC just makes noise when you start it up and everybody's like, what's that noise? You're just like, it just does that. <laughs> I want, I need to have like a serious breakdown in front of our bosses with you there. So <laughs> like, it, it does that. Just like, <laughs> tell him you're not going to fire him and give him an ice cream. <laughs> Go get him food. How was that ramen, by the way? I wanted that. Fur Furious food is good, but I didn't know the one I got you was spicy. <laughs> It, it wasn't. I, that was a joke because everything uh, is spicy to me. No, it was good. I think it tasted like peanuts and chicken. Yeah, it, it was like a something Thai chicken or something like that. Yeah, but uh, it, it wasn't the. We got to go out to Fa sometime soon. That is a demand of mine. Now that things are open, fall? we're going. I don't, <laughs> I don't care if you've been. I'm going to get one of the ones that's just meat and noodles. But okay. That's all. That's all of them. What are you talking about? All of them are just meat and noodles. Some of them are spicy. Oh, yeah. Fuck those. <laughs> no, you take a one tiny time, little piece One time I went to lunch with my physics teacher from high school, and it wasn't weird. And he <laughs> said, no, you'll like Bullshit. Fuck. Well, Irish people would do Asian food. <laughs> nice. I bet it was weird that, you, <laughs> that lunch. It was weird that I hung out with my history teacher, or my <laughs> physics teacher so much, but that lunch wasn't weird. His wife is nice. <laughs> Okay, I guess. I had a, I had a high school teacher who was a sociology teacher, uh, Mr. Springer from Wakanda. Look him up. I'm kidding, don't. <laughs> Not that Wakanda. Um, I, and, uh, like, he was four years older than the rest of us, but dude went to Butler and played D1 football. Just, just jacked. Huge dude. And he would <laughs> always say, like, hey, if you guys ever after graduating – like, we can't be friends now, but we're pretty similar age range. So after graduating, if you want to grab lunch or something like that, I can tell you all the stories that I would tell people, like, that I can't tell you because you're a class kid. I'll tell you once you graduate. And I always wanted to take him up on that offer, but I never did because the stories that he did tell us were, were a lot. <laughs> a boogie broke his thumbs because he gambles on sports so much. Both his thumbs. <laughs> Three teachers that's just there to coach? He was a no, he didn't coach at all. And he was that's a T one athlete. <laughs> yeah, I know. He was a sociology teacher. He's like, I went to Butler because they have good degrees and now I'm here and I get paid too much to be here. I'm like, cool. And the bookie broke both of his thumbs and for the first half of the school year he was like, Yeah, I was driving with my thumbs like this. You know how you drive like that? And I crashed <laughs> my car and it just shattered both my thumbs. And then by the end of the year he was like no. <laughs> yeah. I uh, I bet too much money on the horses. He said I got into some trouble with some people, and I'm like, who breaks <laughs> thumbs? Who fucking breaks <laughs> thumbs with size bookies? That's literally it. I do. <laughs> I wish that the exchange had been. I got into some trouble with people. What people? It kind of people that break thumbs. I don't know. What, <laughs> There's only I don't one. Think gonna go into more detail on that one. Like I've never thought about it before, but like the only people who break thumbs are fucking bookies and mobsters. No, and it's a message that you send. So the next day you go into work and both of your thumbs are broken. <laughs> and, yeah, you have to be like, I crashed my car. And your boss is gonna be like, okay. Like that sure. I got righteously drunk before Christmas and bashed my head on the pavement and had to explain why there's a big gash on my head. <laughs> yeah, and but. Work. <laughs> yeah, you had work. You didn't you come into work like still bleeding a little. It was still like a scab. Like it was. <laughs> it was if bright. it had been picked, I would have bled profusely. <laughs> so no, and my the, our our boss goes like, "Oh, I've got a scar from something like that. I got hit by a bat or something like that. What happened to you?" Yes. No, yes. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I I went to a bar with my cousins, did a bunch of shots, yelled about two of the coaches we cover. And then fell in the street. <laughs> I love that. Like we'll both we'll both request off for the same day, and John will be like, "I'm also going to give you the next day off as well." <laughs> and we're just like, <laughs> or I've had to hit him up before and be like, "No, no, 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 Josh. Or, no, 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 no. I'm day drinking. Okay, so <laughs> I'm I'm going to be okay by the time the next day comes around." 
you call me into work at eight, we're going to have some problems. <laughs> yeah. Give me the late shift. <laughs> Damn it. No, but another bookie story from that guy. He has a tattoo of a unicorn. That was one of the incentives for us to like come visit him after we graduate high school, which is like, it feels like he was just hitting on the hot chicks in the class. Cause he was like four years older than him, but he was a senior class. He was like a great guy. <laughs> yeah. He was like 22. So it was like, okay, he had just graduated college. So I mean like 18 to 22, not the worst thing in the world, but he was like, I'll show you this tattoo. If you guys come out to uh, come out to lunch at some point. He talked about getting lunch after we graduated a lot. <laughs> but then with some of the girls, he talked about getting dinner. <laughs> Weird. And don't tell their parents. Um, <laughs> no, but he has a tattoo because he lost he lost fantasy. And he's like, yeah, I had to get a tattoo of a unicorn because I lost my fantasy league. But it's really manly. It's like a horse. It's just a horse that has a horn. And I'm like, just get it. Just get a My Little Pony, dude. <laughs> like, go. Yeah, go all out. Okay. Yeah, go all out. Don't get, like, some shit-ass horse. Yeah, well, you know, in I think it's Good Will Hunting, whatever movie it is, where the guy's like, my dad used to lay out a phone book, a belt, and a wrench, and tell me to pick one. Which one would you pick? The wrench. Because fuck him, that's why. If <laughs> <laughs> anyone asks you about why'd you get a My Little Pony, because fuck them, that's why. <laughs> I feel like there's a little bit of psychology in that one. I don't think your dad's gonna beat you as hard with a wrench, honestly, <laughs> because he's gonna you get you're gonna set out the wrench and you're gonna point at the wrench and he's gonna be like, God damn! <laughs> I don't know. I mean, Goodwill Hunting's dad is. You cr- you kill people with wrenches, just so we're clear. <laughs> people yeah, die with it. Got a surgery scar. <laughs> Retainer. Go to these Harvard bars. <laughs> Lose my car keys and my khakis. <laughs> I parked my car in Harvard Yard, but now I can't unpark my car in Harvard Yard because I lost my car keys in Harvard Bar. I've been to Harvard Bars, by the way. They're nice. Uh, I nice. went to Harvard. Did you try and... There's uh, there's probably a lot of lesbians that go to Harvard. You could have had your in. I mean, yeah, no. Like, the area of... I don't think... Har- Har- I don't think Harvard's in the city of Boston. The area that Harvard is in is fucking a bunch of, you know... Indie alt young people. Yeah, it's like it Park is. in there, Chicago folks. Yeah, you should go out there and just walk around, just like, hey, you're wearing flannel, and I think you're a lady. How are you doing? I should just go to Rogers Park and hang out outside one of the bars that has gender neutral bathrooms and be like, what's up? Uh, almost all of them do now. It's a there's a lot. There's some here. I've been fucking Westmont. Yeah. Westmont? Well, no, I guess uh, Westmont might be good. Nap- it's not going to happen in, like, Naperville or Evanston. They're in Downers Grove, too. Oh, Downers is somewhat snooty. Mm-hmm. How yeah. do you fucking turn off Slack? <laughs> oh, God, that sounded awful. <laughs> uh, bars with gender-neutral bathrooms. Are you just listening to one half of the podcast right now? What else am I supposed to know? You can watch TV. No, I'm working. Oh. Here. And why are you listening to this no, podcast? You took over the entire living room. <laughs> <laughs> I literally, I'm getting out of the living room tomorrow. And you stole the office chair right from under my butt. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck I'm still you. Be working in my living room tomorrow. Guys, it's a domestic dispute, so don't worry about it because I'm a man and I'm white, so it's okay. <laughs> 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 Audio medium, folks. <laughs> Was a joke. <laughs> See, I I can't tell if if you're going with it's okay for white men to hit their wives or it's okay when white men yell because only other races hit their wives. I couldn't tell which one you were joking about. I was going for it's okay to white men hit their wives. Okay. That's a joke. So we're clear. <laughs> Wait, no, but th- no, but that's because you're racist against white people. So white people being abused doesn't bother you. So you're woke. No, white people being abused does not bother me. <laughs> Just so we're honest. I mean, if it gets to a point where it's like, yeah, this is starting to suck, then I'll be like, okay, I guess I got to be that guy. But right now we're fine. I mean, I get passed up for a job sometimes. Okay, that's fine. I'll be all right. They, they deserve it. My thing is like, yeah, that's bad to do. But like, you think you could not bitch about it while all this other stuff's going on? <laughs> yeah. It's like, I understand there's going to be some overcorrection. If it gets wild, then I'll worry about it. But right now, it's not that crazy. It's just really not. 
I'm just like, I'm like, doing fine. Isn't the best way to handle this. There's better ways. I'm, you're not allowed to say them publicly. <laughs> the government will get mad at you. There's better ways to establish equality, but like, it's not as bad as the other stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not as bad as just not even going, just being like, ah, I think we're good. What? Like, yeah, we're, we're just gonna hire white people. What? Jordan Peterson is like, white men are becoming victims because you know what is now. Oh, whatever. You know, fuck that. There's a reason he sounds like Kermit. I like his philosophies on like being a chill dude, but yeah, but he—that's not anything that he actually does. <laughs> I said his philosophies. Very, no, he wrote a self-help book that's like stand up straight, clean your room, be nice to people, blow like, daddy. Yeah. <laughs> or, oh what if you wash your dick women will like you more oh he's the new incels guy <laughs> uh neck beards what they needed is another fucking person to glom onto <laughs> that's for sure what they need aren't you glad you can't grow a beard because i know that if you I can get shitty stubble right here though I was going to say, I know that if it only took like a few days to grow in, you'd forget and you'd accidentally grow a neck beard all the time. Because I do it, but luckily I have the rest of the beard to make up for it. I do all the time. I should have shaved today, probably. Yeah, I think your hair is fucking white on your beard, though, because I never see it. It's yeah, I, You can feel it if you gently caress <laughs> your face. Don't do that. But uh, <laughs> Can your dad... Unless you're saying ooh-woo, as you do. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was docking again. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, docking you... like that would hurt. Like if you get a volleyball straight to the. <laughs> oh, well, no, it's actually called jousting. They get a running start and they try and <laughs> skewer the other person through the urethra. <laughs> no, I, I've seen that version of a night tale. <laughs> uh, oh God, a night's. A knight's boner? I, I, I got nothing. A knight's tail, but T A I L. Uh, okay. I, I don't think I that's. I think that's pretty good. Uh, or a knight, or if you want to get highbrow, a knight's tail, but lose the case. So it's the tail of a knight, on which I got on a horse and rammed my dick into his nose. <laughs> I w you would have to be just just packing heat. To be able to hit to get another, <laughs> to get no, to get, well, yeah, to get in front of the horse, and then also as you're passing by, somebody to hit another person. <laughs> My name is Balthazar Fansimus, and I am the most renowned breeder of cock jousting ponies. <laughs> I breed ponies with the shortest neck you've ever seen. <laughs> and a modest cock can reach beyond its snout. <laughs> These horses are fucked up. <laughs> they look wrong. Each of my How horses look like you. Early ancestor of Brembus Fantoma. <laughs> Each of these horses looked like they ran headfirst into a brick wall going 75 miles an hour. <laughs> they didn't. I just really fucked up their genes. <laughs> you take one part donkey, three parts mule, and a little bit of frog to, to make a And horse. then you commit great sin. <laughs> I'm like Frankenstein, but for horses and cat jousting. <laughs> <laughs> and they're wearing, the other people are wearing armor too. So <laughs> if you miss, fucking gone. <laughs> <laughs> you can wear a cock ring, but nothing more than that. <laughs> That's not a lot. It's not enough, if we're being honest. Really just to protect the balls. You know what they should do? They should do horse cock jousting and use the horse's penis. Because it's just ah, size wise. A horse riding a horse. <laughs> <laughs> a horse sitting on a horse, human style, with, I guess, the thumb would be the erection. And then they have to joust each other off as they right. pass. Right. And it's it's just for perverts. <laughs> <laughs> it's for, you only get the pamphlet handed out at Mexican donkey shows, and it's for <laughs> people who are looking, who are looking like bored at a donkey show. They're just like, huh. Oh. I wish this horse would at least kill another horse. <laughs> there, there are dudes that you can find in poorly dug pits in Mexico filled with horse cum and hooker blood, and they think that you're fucked up if you watch horse cock jesting. <laughs> no, those guys in the pits are fucking, like, just sitting there, ho-hum. <laughs> <laughs> I wish... <laughs> Uh, the amount of times I've been covered in blood and horse entrails, it's beginning to be a bored. Like, <laughs> a white what lord. Did we make it 
and then they hand him a little pamphlet that's just the image of two horses doing that. <laughs> and he's like, what's this? Renewed vigor in my life, and this is a Shakespeare play. <laughs> I would love to find illustrated, like, in the, in the margins of a medieval history book, like a picture of, like, crudely drawn horses that are on their legs, clearly with their dicks fighting each other. <laughs> and the dicks are snakes for whatever reason. No, 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 no. What you got to do is make this into a Shakespeare play of a man who finds renewed vigor in horse cock jousting, then meets the woman of his dreams or whatever the Shakespearean trope is. And so. tragically, he's caught in the middle of a horse. <laughs> <laughs> but it turns out he's okay, but before he realizes that, he's already killed himself by... She takes... She yeah. takes she takes one to the mouth and one to the ass, and she, he assumes that she's dead because of the amount that she's just taken. But she's fine. <laughs> she just can't talk right now because she's a dick in her mouth. And there's plenty of great puns. I'm sure there's <laughs> done a horse cock pun. I wish I could speak in fucking prose or iambic pentameter, whatever it's called, so that I could do bits. But I fucking can't. I can't talk off the top of my head in it, fuck. That's what... The Shakespeare Improv Company is whatever they're called. There you go. Improvised Shakespeare. They do improvised Shakespearean prose. That is fucking crazy, my dude. Oh, wow. I don't it's even think terrible. that's it. <laughs> yeah, they do it off the top of their fucking heads. It's no, wild. but I am the pentameter is worse because you have to stress on the right syllables. It's fucking hard. <laughs> Yeah, well, it's okay because nobody really understands Shakespeare, so they can say whatever they want to as long as their body language and inflection makes it seem they're saying what they want to. So they could be talking about horse cocks and whatnot, and everybody's like, I get it, but it's Shakespeare talk. You make so it like, every once in a while. Yeah. Fuck Shakespeare. I'll stand. Fuck Shakespeare. Fuck Doctor Who. Fuck, fuck New York. Fuck. No, no, sh no. Shakespeare is not one of the things we agree to hate. I like right. Shakespeare. Fuck both Shakespeare and no Shakespeare. There's one Shakespeare that's all right, but all of them are just like. Eh. Which Shakespeare is the one you think is all right? God, I can't remember off the top of my head, but I do remember that there's Macbeth? one that I give a pass to. Maybe. You told me to give a pass before. Okay, it's Macbeth then, because that's like good. And I can understand the words. And nowadays they're just like, you need to be able to understand garbage ass, stupid fucking old English. And I'm just like, no, no, I don't. I'm never going to fucking use this. What are you talking about? <laughs> like, I cannot understand this, and I'll be fine. What if you're drunk and want to read Merchant of Venice, though? It's, yeah, that happens all the time. It's, <laughs> it's a me? bar for entry. Like, I, it's as hard to learn Shakespearean English as it is to learn another fucking language. So why don't okay. I just learn so another fucking language? He's the man in 10 Things I Hate About You. Exactly. Yes. What's Macbeth for people from now? I don't know. There is a modern with Macbeth with the guy that played Commodore and Orrington as uh, Malcolm. Yeah, but they probably use the same old English, which they, yeah. sucks ass. There's a Macbeth with Patrick Stewart, but it's like modern. Mm. Maybe maybe that's the one I'm thinking of. I do like me some Patrick Stewart. That is an old man whose balls I would gargle. I don't think I would. Really? Patrick Stewart? Why not? Not like for no reason. Like, if he was like, please, I'm going to die if I don't get a righteous ball chuck right now. <laughs> if you like, don't okay. jacuzzi like, my nutsack, I'll die. <laughs> I'm still hoping for a good X-Men movie, so okay, but <laughs> if I want to. Okay, but he can dress up as your favorite character he plays before you do it. Which character do you choose? Uh, Emperor Uriel Septim from Oblivion. You're a piece of shit, you know that? <laughs> <laughs> You're a real piece of garbage. <laughs> this Fortune. is the end of the third age and the final moments of my orgasm. <laughs> I would choose him. Nice. I would choose him <laughs> from the DoorDash ad he just did because he looks good in that <laughs> suit. <laughs> he, did, he has hair in oblivion. So. What's your roommate live, yelling at? Apex? <laughs> probably not Apex. Probably a good game. Ooh. <laughs> the only one I like is the demon version. The demon version is fun. Like some spookiness. Yeah, the bar for entry for Apex is pretty fucking ridiculous. You gotta learn a lot about each character, which kind of like makes it hard for new people to join. But it's still fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah I, don't, I don't need that. I got me a movie that's spooky and set in medieval times. Oh, did you watch Borat last night? It. 
It's in fucking sand. <laughs> he, walks, he walks into a synagogue wearing bat wings, a giant nose, carrying a money bag, and some other shit. And this elderly Jewish woman is like, trying to help him not be racist anymore. <laughs> She's like being very nice to him. All right. Well, I got to fucking go. I got to get back to my edit, but that's amazing. So uh, follow at the Connor Ford on Twitter. Follow at Kellen underscore to Frank also on Twitter. This one's for Joey. Patreon.com slash It's Just Bits Podcast. Nice. And we're on Spotify too. Uh, you gotta, you have to get us on Apple Music. Okay. You, <laughs> I'll send you the link. I'm probably going to upload this not fucking today. So I'll see you. Well, we just did Thursday. Yeah, I'll see you. Yeah, bye. What's up, babe?